Hi, welcome to the Rebel Network. And on this week's show, I'm welcoming back Eddie Esposito. Eddie, yes. welcome back, my friend. Good to see you. Again, friend. Friend. Yeah, Good to see you. <laughs> Now, Eddie's actually a, uh, a partner of the Referral yep. Institute. Now, however, in a previous life, and I know you're still keeping this, the, the skills current, was yep. a chef. Now, one of the reasons I've asked Eddie to speak today is Eddie's actually cooked for a number of presidents of the United States. Now, I want him to tell me how he got to do that, because there's loads of chefs out there, Eddie. Oh, yeah. you? That's, that's, there's a load of them out there. Well, I had a a specialized service. I worked on private planes or corporate planes. And I never intended to cook for any presidents. However, what I, what I started doing was, was becoming really good in the space, which was the plane space, which is different than your standard commercial kitchen. Then I started getting inviting to come along when they had a special guest or a special board of director or whatever. But that's, that's how that really got started. I never, it was not my intention necessarily to, to cook for celebrities or presidents. Okay. So, you, I mean, there's a lot of our clients out there. They're always uh, challenged, but potentially by people that are better at what they do. Oh, yeah. That, uh, no, no doubt. There's a whole lot of people that could cook better than me then, now, and, and forever. <laughs> but I was one of the best in the space. You know, the small, little bitty compart jet compartment coming on pre preloaded with all the right materials in the right, in the right state of readiness to get them ready on the plane and make a finished product that was, you know, pretty much restaurant quality or as near as the best restaurant quality in that circumstance. And I was I, I became best in that circumstance. So, so what I'm thinking is for business people out there that may have competitors that have more resources, maybe they even have better products, you know, maybe they just, they're just better. However, they could, by what you're saying, is actually start to focus on a niche and be the best they can be in that niche. Yeah, absolutely, because I, I, I became really, I was concentrated and dedicated to becoming the best in that spot. Because my job really was not only to, to serve the best food right there, but I had to make the owners of the plane look good, or the owners of the company. So they had to look good. Everybody had to have a pleasurable experience. And from there, it, things expanded. I got invited to go to homes and cook and do some other things. But my intention was just to be the best in that spot. From there, everything else sort of spawned itself. Mm. So now in, in your current life, <clears throat> obviously you're, you're, you're helping businesses to succeed in that, you know, in that first five years, 10 years, and really I suppose what they're focusing on is their target market Yeah, and being the best for their target market. Would that yeah. be what you... If you're the best in that circumstance, and that circumstance can get pretty narrow, then once you've mastered that, then you can harness that enthusiasm from all the people that you deal with to get you other places, would be the short answer on that one. Okay, so to kind of wrap up, <clears throat> know your niche or your target market yeah. and be the best you can be in that space. Yeah, dominate that space and it doesn't have to be that big and lots of great things will happen. And just quickly, I, I, I don't know if the CIA is listening, but any, any presidents, who were they? Ah, it was um, both, both Bushes and uh, <laughs> Car President Carter and President Clinton. And uh, even last year I, I uh, did um, the current First Lady, Michelle Obama. Wow. A special one-time off thing. I'm out of the business now, but it's a one-time thing. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Brilliant. Good. Well, I'm looking forward to you cooking for me again. All right, I'll be in Dubai, not before and, too long. And I'll be washing up. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Take it easy, Rebel Networker.